Can, uh, can, can you smell that too? That smells like uh, a new scary analog horror that I want to react to. Okay, that actually made me feel really lightheaded. That was not the best idea for an intro. So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome to another Analog Horror Reaction. Now, this one, I actually don't know what to call this one or even brand it. I know nothing about this series other than these images here on the thumbnail. I've actually seen these videos floating around for some time, but never did I click on them until now. And I want to check out all five of the uploads on this channel with you guys. Let's get this thing started, though. And if you guys do enjoy this video, why don't you go ahead and drop that like right in? Yes, I'm changing up how I say that. Did the like button do the little rainbow flashy thing? I know YouTube has that feature. Also, subscribe. What? Did it do it then as well? Yeah, so checking out the channel, we have this like TOE, which is like apparent in several of these different uploads. So maybe this is going to be coming from some kind of weird story. I'm seeing my dude in two thumbnails, so probably. We're going to start this one out by checking out TOE starving.help. Uh, what the freak is this? Why is he hitting the glass like that? Is he getting bigger, the crack? Oh, okay, so he's trying to break out? Or is he trying to break in? Like, who's trapped here? Maybe me? Throwing a POV. He is the good guy trying to help us out. But I'd appreciate if you didn't do the breathing thing like that. Why do you, uh, you know, break break me out? You know? I, 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 I. The description literally says trap, though. Hey, what the heck was that? Like, what, what am I feeling at this moment in time? Okay, so even though this channel has like this TOE theme and it's not like all consistent, we are gonna watch these in the chronological order of which they've been uploaded, just in case this one here is also in like conjunction with this story somehow. This next one's called, Has This Ever Happened To You All The Lights Know? I'm gonna need to know- Has this ever happened to you? Uh, I don't know, what's going on, what do you mean? It's getting dark outside. That you're getting to ready for bed. Uh, Grab yeah. a cold glass of water, Ooh. and now you're turning off all the lights in the okay. house. Oh, bro, oh my gosh. <laughs> Cold glass of water. I am literally scarred by that concept at this minute in time because of something I did a few weeks ago, man. I drink out of these now exclusively, bro. It was so bad. <laughs> you ever get it where you're in like that day state and you don't really know what you're doing, then you just wake up and like you've done something. Now, I was laying in bed, I was getting super cozy and I began to drift off. Now for context, I have a bed and a small table to the side. I put my drink usually on this thing. You know, we, we wake up, we need that drink. There it is. I don't know how, but I had somehow punched that thing Thing all over the floor and all over the electricals which were turned on at that moment in time. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Dude, I woke up not understanding what was going on still. I was so drowsy. I could barely function. I'm surprised the house didn't just get set on fire. TLDR, use one of these things. I'm, I'm done with glasses, bro. Anyway, let's get back on track. Do you feel that? Or I've maybe feel that? That sinking feeling that something is following you as soon as you turn off the lights? Oh, done. That's a child of trauma, well, man. Oh, God. What do you mean? We have a brilliant I mean, solution. Oh! Hey, thanks. Thing that probably hides in the dark when the lights are off. Nothing that follows you. Nothing that follows you. I'm feeling kind of uncomfortable right now, guys. You know? I. Yeah, I think um. Like, stay on from here on. Okay, I'm already seeing this creator has a very unique approach to the way he goes about videos. They don't necessarily have like any chronological order, but they just feel uneasy. There's just something uncomfortable. It's I think it's those designs he's got going. They're very unnerving and uncanny. Okay, let's check this one out called Love Thumper. Like, hold up, that that could mean, uh, you know, something kind of weird though. This one only has a small description saying 313-2005. So we got a date, but we don't know what's going on. <gasps> Hello. Don't talk to it. Yo, I would not. Is it saying hello back? What do you want? Is it in the room? I'm so confused. What do you want? Because it just says hello. Bro, do we have subtitles for this thing? What's this spin? Facts though. Hold on. It just says hello. Please go away. It's got a scrapey old arms though. Please go away. Does it repeat whatever it says? Hang on. Go. Oh, here, yeah, going though. Whoa! Dude, that's cracking the glass so you can see it breaking. Where is he? Oh. Uh, what the freak is going on? Oh, I don't like this, bro. I don't like this dude. He's weird, man. With his spider legs. What the freak? Is he trying to find him? I don't know if we're hiding it up. Yep. Well, we were trying to hide it. We have been spotted by it. What is that thing? Huh? What are you? I'm gonna 
there's tendrils poking around the corner. Little feelers. I'll be feeling some flesh in a moment. Oh, he's just opening that door slowly. He's like, hey, I'm gonna draw this thing out. You know you're dead, but... How many seconds from now? Five? Two minutes? Wait, the body appeared untouched? What? Wait, what am I actually seeing right now? What does that mean? The body... What is going on? Yo, no, 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 no. What is going on with this? Hold up. The crackhead outside my window at five... Bro, what? I love when the thumper said it th it's thumping time and thumped everywhere. Hold up. What is this thing? Like, is it a creature? Is it a humanoid? Is it some kind of, like, creation in a laboratory? Was that it breaking out of the laboratory? Like, I'm trying to figure this thing out. Maybe the first video and this one, they were linked together. And then that one, was it breaking out of wherever it was trapped? So, who was that dude that just, like broken up. Bro, I'm so confused. Hold up. The body appeared untouched. What does that mean also? Like, I'm, I'm trying to understand, like, is it the victim? Is it the thing that broke out? Its body appeared untouched? I don't know. I, I really have no idea at this minute in time. Like, what even is this being? Either way, you see it down a dark alley. Go to it. No, I'm kidding. Why would you go to it? Are you serious? There's a new one here called TOE Making Friends. This could be in Link. As we see, it's got the same background of this kind of like this floral design within the room. So is that now a continuation where he brings back the trapped person into whatever? Like what's going on here? We watch this and we try and get some answers. No subtitles on this one, guys. Uh, hold on, wait. Volume. Time to rise and shine. Hey, well, that's cute. So that's a picture in the... TOE thing. Good children are bright and early. That early though? Hold up, man. I mean, I wake up at 6, 10 every day, guys, so no, I'm a good child. They play pretend. Wait, okay. Is it trying to teach this being how to act? Did they create it? I had no idea what was going on. They're raising almost like a baby. So when did the killing happen, though, you know? Good children do not play with their food until it is all gone. Even mean though how how can you even wait what good children make friends i saw hold up hang on so what is that in like it has to be some kind of experiment okay good children make friends yeah but he's all on his own what the freak is going on for governmental bro they're on msn pen place what is going on hello connects in seconds pals for life yo man what's up it's been like forever Alright, thanks for that. Dang, hit me with the K though. Seriously, thought you were dead or something. Look, we've been online friends for a while now. Yeah, oh, he's... Yo, he's typing to the guy who got killed, and this thing is replying the monster. Yeah, best friends. I mean, that's kind of nice though. Feel that thing. Hey, look, I know it's none of my business, but it feels like you've been acting really distant lately. You've been going through something? If so, I'm here and you can talk to me, man. Stop hitting me with the K, though. Come on. Okay, this this being has to learn internet slang. What's going on? Like I said, it's none of my beeswax and you don't have to say nothing, but do you need something? Face call, please. Yeah, yeah, video call. It's like 1 a.m. I mean, he wants to see that face. That... Wait, can it break through, like, screens and stuff? Please, now. Seriously, are you good? Like I said, I'm here if you want to... I think he wants to FaceTime you, though, bro. Like... I know you started that new school recently, and it was whack. Okay, yes, talk face. Bro, are we speaking to Yoda? Hey, no, seriously, I can't. It's Adamant, though. Really sorry, but tomorrow, okay? Please, let me friend. What is got? This is... Dom is not all right. Dom is not Dom. Oh, my goodness. He's, like, begging it. I mean, maybe the guy's going to say, all right, give in. Let's see, though. All right, he says, yeah, okay, all right, you can stop spamming that, though. Also, spaces exist, you know? Not cool, man, what the heck? He hasn't even asked, why is he typing like that? Please be as quiet as possible, like, whisper. This thing knows what's... Bro, well, he's, he's dead, though. My mom's a light sleeper. Starving hell, please. What? What do you mean by that? I want to see this face call, though. This is governmental property, remember? Now, though, I swear this is something weird or a prank, though. Hey, those, they were never fun. So Dominic was always like that. So that might explain why he's not even really questioning the weird talking. Oh my gosh. Yo, what? For the, yo, he just hit the spring trap loading screen. None of it makes, makes any, any sense. sense. Everything, Everything inside, inside was, gone. was gone. Who's saying? Wait, what? 
What is going on? It's a kid in there is the description, and there's nothing else to it. Yo, hold up. Wait, what? Okay, so we've got this entity that's trying to almost exist like a normal person, act like a normal person. It's being, like, almost raised like a child. It's like, it, it maybe it was birth, this creation. There's an attempt to try and teach it to exist and be a human being. It's, obviously, it met someone, and it's hungry all the time, apparently, so I'm guessing that first person was, like, eaten or something. Where it says it's a kid in there, that must be describing the monster, too. Like, there is a child inside of that monster's body. Maybe not literally, but it's like, you know, it's got the mind of a child. It's trying to learn. It's, it's been created not long ago. It doesn't know how to act, maybe. One thing that's confusing me the most, and I'm actually starting to think this goes back to starving.help. I think, for example, this video, we're going to watch it one more time. In the video before where the child or whoever this Hello. was was caught, this one here, he does not look like he's looking outside into a house because that's what I was like, what's going on, right? This light. I think this thing travels through monitors or want? some kind of screen and it's able to break out. It's almost like the ring as a concept. That instantly makes this first video on the list where all we get is this full screen. He's breaking through the screen. My screen. He's trying to get into contact with me. And that's what happened there. Taking over his first victim before any contact. And it was us, the viewer, for watching this video. Wow, that's cool. Okay, first up, this has got to happen right now. Like, I got to subscribe in case they drop some bangers. Like, that's all they seem to do here. It's really cool how just the concept of this has been enough for us to understand, like, how this thing or what it might be doing. I don't know if I'm correct. The next thing that we need to know is that heart, the heart beating. Like, there's something growing in that room where it first began. Like, is it growing a new being of itself? Is that how it was born? We don't know really what's going on. Either way, it seems to think like making friends is like you know going to someone and killing them like it doesn't really understand how you play with someone so i don't know maybe it's been taught how to play wrong never been taught that at all maybe it's seen a murder or something happen and that's what it's learned is the new normality I, I don't know i'm just theorizing and this brings us now to the final video in the list this one is called the boiled one phenomenon i don't know what this is that is a, a wording like that sounds disgusting though media curated and brought to you by web u industries courtesy of efrata branch you deserve to know you deserve better. All right, what's Webu Industries cooking up then, huh? Let's... What? Hey, what the freak is that? I'm two seconds... In I don't know what that is. Curse pause button. All following media. This video contains elements which are known to cause mild severe. Okay, you can read that, guys. Oh my gosh, they affect the viewer like that? They don't guarantee your uh, safe thing. Okay, make sure you have the following in the vicinity. Earplugs, a pencil, a sheet of paper, a standard Bible open to some palms... 9110. Okay, you guys got that? Uh, listen, I got a mind palace. It's crazy what I throw up there. All this information, everything I need, right there. If something unusual begins speaking in tongues tangible to the naked ears, insert your earplugs and turn to your pencil and paper. Okay? And write the following on the page. I can see this paper. I can see my hand. I can't hear the screaming of thousands. I can I can't hear the feast. I am moving, breathing human being on planet Earth. Now hold up. We gotta go back. Yo, it's gonna be a lot of this, I think, for this video. Check this out. We go back a few frames here. There's something that pops on the screen. This here, look at this. I don't know if that's look, it's like mirroring. There's something else here. I can't, I can't see, see this see paper. This paper. I, I have no I hand. Have. I can, I can hear, hear the laughter of thousands. thousands. I can I hear, hear the feast. feast. I cannot I move, nor do I want to. Is that like supposed to be subliminal messaging? Okay, sure. So what's that telling us to do this? Maybe underlying there's some darker thing at play here. No evil shall befall you and no plague shall come near your dwelling. After those words are written, recite palms aloud. Hold up. This is- Bro, I can't keep up. If memories and imagery of something unholy persist in your mind, pray it's all you can do. Okay, great. Gosh. In the event you are required to carry out these procedures, contact authorities immediately afterwards. You will be administered am amnesics. Many appear to lead- so they try and make you forget what happened. And they just, that's it, that's all they can do. So they know about this going down. Yeah, many, not all. The Boiled One Phenomenon. August the 13th, 2003. The Tree of Heaven. Well, that sounds beautiful though, the Tree of Heaven. In the late 1990s, a now classified documentary-based television program would debut from a local station in Pennsylvania. The program revolved around woodland plants and animals and was primarily directed towards children. The star of the show and narrator would talk about the wonders of nature, the dangers of it, how, it how to appreciate it, and most importantly, I can't read that in time. And most importantly, how to protect yourself from it. I mean, yet with beauty comes uh, the scary side, that's something. Unfortunately, in early 2001, the program would be taken off air due to the host. He died? Oh, man. Then something... Odd happened. On August 13th, 2003, the 13th episode of the series began a rerun seemingly out of nowhere. The following audio recording depicts the beginning segments of the episode. Footage taken from episodes 3, morning, 6, 8, 10, 13 in the program. Today we're venturing into the heart of the forest. Okay. To find a plant 
that's as beautiful as it is deceptive. All right, we hear that. Poison oak. We all know about it. And here in Pennsylvania, it's not as common, but still something to look out for. All right, we hear you. And here on. No wonder they cut this off there. This dude's cussing on command. Are you serious, though? Oh, redacted. Sorry. All he the doesn't cuss. Got it. The nature has to offer. Great. I mean, no matter sounds how great. Minuscule or gigantic. That sounds like so a fun show on. concept. I mean, nature is sick, though. Everyone loves nature. Is that it there? The tree? See, it's growing. It's primarily in deep North huh. American woodlands. In the dead of everything Poison else. It has many different names and places oh, of origin. Oh, this is green. Wow. Also referred to as the Tree of Heaven. The Tree of and Heaven. In what a China name. and Taiwan, one of these invasive species made its way to America. In it's invasive. How about that? It's, it's called the Tree of Heaven. Boldly. As many of us know, it's infamous. Oh, that's br Hello? During one of the interlude segments, an anomalous broadcast would hijack the program. This broadcast depicted videos of a red mountain face that spoke to the viewer in a warm yet deeply disserting voice. This face and its properties will be referred- What? It will be referred to as FHEN 228, Phenomenon 228, I guess. As Fen 228 spoke, clips and footage and even live camera feed monitoring hospitals and bedrooms would be occasionally overlaid on the screen, obscuring Fen 228's face. They didn't want to show it. Okay. Though most remembered the thing speaking English, multiple non-English speaking viewers remembered understanding every word that was spoken. That's weird. The following clip is restored recording of the anomalous broadcast. The duration of the clip has been shortened and the audio has been muffled, reversed, and dampened. These alterations are absolutely necessary to suppress its hazardous attributes as effectively as possible. For maximum safety, watch with blue light glasses and insert your earplugs. So it's really dangerous, this thing. Whatever it is, they can't have people Hearing anything of what it says. You know we're downloading this video. I'm gonna try and reverse it afterwards, guys. I wanna hear- What? What the f This is the hijack? Oh! I mean, I see his face clear as day, though it's there. The pinhead? I have no idea what it's saying, guys. Uh, is it broken into a house? Oh my... Nah, dude. The broadcast will be hereby referred to as Broadcast 813. Broadcast 813 was viewed by roughly 530 residents throughout southern Pennsylvania area and upon viewing left many severely destroyed. So it was only a very small collective area. Aside from the discomfort and paranoia the television presence had brought to the viewers, there were other side effects that these viewers experienced that were highly unnatural. Anxiety and paranoia. And apparently an open head though. Many viewers reported not being able to keep the image of Fen 208's face out of their minds. Some even continued to hear its voice days after viewing. We're going to refer to it as 228 from here. A victim who requested to remain anonymous claimed that the face was living in his brain and feeding on his spine. Others described trumpets playing in their ears before they fell asleep. That's called tinnitus. None of these people knew that this was only the beginning. The beginning of a whole new species of suffering that would never be fully understood. What the freak? August the 13th, 2023. The Great Northeast. Yo, this is scary as an idea. Okay, quick time with this. Here we go. After the anomalous frequency was detected by television troubleshooters, the NERC was ordered by the Efrata branch to have all power grids local to the state of Pennsylvania disabled by 4 p.m. to prevent further escalation of the anomaly and the pumping lodge of broadcast 13. The outage ultimately spread to the various parts of New York, New Jersey, Ohio, and even Canada as well, creating the famous Great Northeast blackout of 2003. Almost 50 million people without power, some like getting them back until days later. During the confusion caused by the outage, all traces of Broadcast 813 were collected by the EFRA branch and seemingly wiped from existence. This includes news articles in the works from the morning after the broadcast, internet posts, recordings, and more. The cause of the blackout was promptly covered up and claimed to have been a combination of human error and the result of trees falling onto the sagging power line somewhere in Cleveland, Ohio. Nah, but the damage had been done. It had been broadcasted. You only need to see it once. You don't even need to understand it. And this is where the aftermath comes in. Those victims, those 560 people. Yo, wait, what the freak is that graph? I, all I saw was the graph and I was like, hold up, that looks scary. 12 days after the broadcast 813 was blocked from the air, a historically massive influx of uh, pseudocoma occurred throughout the state of Pennsylvania, leaving 509 people affected. And also many of the families in shock. You can see that graph, it peaks, it drops down, then back again whatever that's trying to refer to. Pseudocoma is an extremely rare condition in which a patient experiences a cebromedulospinal disconnection, leaving them to be conscious but unable to move or communicate verbally due to a complete paralysis of all voluntary muscles in the body, except for the vertical eye movements. 
That's so disgusting already. I hate that. That is so sad, man. This anomalous outbreak of such a rare condition was regarded as a spectacle by the US Department of Health and was put under governmental investigation immediately. One thing in common with all these cases, though, is that the patients had been at home watching TV the night of the broadcast when it was aired. This broadcast 813. What was that? You can't, you can't, dude, you can't flick things and not expect me to slow down frame by frame, though. Okay, look at this. I don't know if that means anything. There's like some kind of leakage coming from the TV. It could just be a displacement. Okay, though the victims of this outbreak were unable to speak, they were able to communicate through Morse code by blinking. More than 60 victims were intervened, so you see no talking, only up, down. All right. Many of these interviews held unavailing results that often led to more questions, and many others held results that required archival or even termination. What? However... Fairly late into the investigation, the Efrata branch was notified of a particularly odd case revolving around one Joe Zamperini, an elderly victim of the anomalous pseudocoma outbreak. Job specifically requested to his alias to be used in a future record. Can we slow down with this so I can read? His alias was to be used in future records instead of his real name, which will remain classified. Zamperini was a war vet and affluent in Morse code, putting him on the mark as a potential interviewee as soon as the outbreak was under. Okay, yeah, because he could obviously communicate, I guess, semi-fast. It's not optimal, but... After a very odd photo was taken in his backyard by his visiting grandson, his family became deeply troubled by him and convinced his house was haunted. This led them to contact a local priest in hopes his house would be blessed. The following photo depicts two to eight standing next to the small playhouse. The photo itself has proved to be non-hazardous and safe to view, though still anomalous in nature. For most comfortable viewing experience, wear blue light glasses view. Hold up, I got me them blue light glasses, guys. This, can you see the blue light in them? Maybe you can, maybe you can't, but guess what? I'm wearing them anyway. Best viewed from a distance of three feet or more. I got this, hold up, here we go. They didn't see that when it was taken? Look at it! Zamprini claimed something horrible and unholy was within him and would hurt him, possibly others, if he described it and what it was to- So you could even talk about what you were seeing! The following is a recovered, previously archived recording in which Officer T. Gomez of Efrata Branch interviews- Wait, what is going on? What does this thing do to people? Hello, Mr. On an internal I'm level. I'm Officer Gomez. Give it to God. doing well today. Oh my gosh. Dude, is it- Hold up, what the freak is this plug socket? Is that seriously useful? What would you- like, are you kidding me? What is that, though? I guess if you, you mount a TV on the wall. I ask you a few questions but... regarding your condition. That's it, bro. And possibly um, unholiness within your home that your family had mentioned. He's gonna. Okay, there you go. There's your Morse code. Okay, ask. first All and right. uh, foremost, did you notice any onset symptoms before you lost complete mobility of your body? There's. The... Okay, translation sequence. I guess it takes a while to communicate. Face, huh? There was a face. Hmm. Crazy how we can talk like when that, man. When did you begin talent. seeing this face? That's a long speech, though. Interesting. After I saw it on TV and it never left me. Many of the people who have broadcast, seen bro? the broadcast that you saw on August the 13th described having vivid and upsetting hallucinations. Do you think this is something your brain has created? I don't, I mean, maybe to an extent, but who knows? No, it can is- Can you please describe oh. this face to me? It's there? Yo, what? Horribly burned, not of Lord. I, uh, I still don't see it. Yo, Have you been having any hallucination aside from I... the face? Ah, oh, I don't like this, man. I'm sorry to I hear, hear screaming that. screaming. That, okay, this is so bad. Constant? Oh, wait, I can see you. You see that in the back? It's changing. Thank you. The Lord Christ you is with shedding you. shedding light on this is helping more than you know. What the freak was that hold up? Yo, everything I have to check twice, man. It's, okay, it's this thing again. Is this a clipping of maybe the broadcast? It looks like it's kind of interlaced, maybe displaced. Maybe one of something, but who knows what that is. Oh my gosh, it's there. At the window. It's refer- Oh my- Is it referring to us or the interviewer? Oh my goodness, bro. It's out the window, just like he said. Wonderful day. The miracle of birth, a fetal fanfare. What does that say down there? Do I want to know? Okay, I can, I can hear it. What? You will hear it. You will hear the laughter of thousands as the sky opens up. Great! Oh, they mean literally though. You will hear the trumpets play their happy sounds. Oh my goodness! The scalding blood of life will pour down What the freak? Hey, bro, you got some, you got some belly button action going on. We will be still. Ugh. I don't like this, man. Oh my. Oh. What does that mean? That there? 
What is that? Warning, if you can see the screen, it means it's not safe to continue viewing. Oh, that's so cool, bro. Pro cool 228 has been too- Oh, it's like breaking out again. Perform the procedures given to you during the introduction portion of this video immediately. Yo, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. No evil shall- Okay. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. So it's repeating over and over again. It's like the, bo the boiled one phenomenon. It began to use even like it, it apparently didn't exist again. This broadcast was uh, like disregarded. But maybe by the interviewer going to uh, interview that guy who was you know still he was still with him. That guy even gave us the headset, but he recorded it and therefore he allowed the bored one to maybe do whatever it was doing again. It started showing things that same cryptic hijacking of whatever just a normal video. It was now being shown to this guy and even they had to put a stop to it because they knew it was beginning all over again and a new outbreak of this could happen. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do, I said before, I would reverse the section where they said it you shouldn't be listening to it like they had to reverse distort it let's take a listen to it this part here we go man On the manifestation of my being in the future, what you will be asleep and dead i will be there <laughs> and watch over you <laughs> when you wake Oh my gosh, bro. When the doctors eventually find you, they will not see me, but you will, and I'll see you too. Oh, right. I'll see bro. you. Dude, that's the. Oh my god, that literally makes you want to tear up in fear. He basically described that. Obviously, when, you know, he sees you, everything goes down, the doctors find you, he's gonna be seeing you forever. And only you're gonna see him, no one else will, and that's it forever. And this video, now that we see it like this, makes sense in chronological order. It's like, if we skim through, there he is, like, that must be you trying to sleep, right, you know? Like, he's watching over you, the door closes, it's like, you know, then you're, you know, by this point, the damage has been done, you can't move anymore. That's why you're seeing this fixed perspective here, like, but you can see him for- I mean, maybe it kind of twists a little bit. That could be like the eyes looking though, it might not be the head, and then you're gonna see him forever. And that is your existence from here on out, always seeing him. This apparent holy creature which is not a holy at all, it's like a, an amalgamation almost, trying to impose as that. Okay, this guy just crafts some like super unique styled videos, and I really, really like these. I think these are so, so good, man. If you aren't subscribed to this dude, check that link down below, man. This is a channel you should follow, and also, I'm pointing to his Instagram. You know we're gonna do this too. This person's Instagram, they just keep posting so much on here, like this in itself, I feel like could even get a dedicated video. There's just so much stuff on here. He builds these characters, I don't know if these are canon in any universe, if he's just making them for fun all the time. What a treasure trove of content. And this guy seems to be just making his start when it comes to content. He started a couple of months back that his Instagram following way, it just like encompasses his current following on YouTube. I hope this guy gets many, many more subscribers. He really deserves it for his unique take on analog horror. It's like once every so often you get a new kind of gem, a, no a new person with a completely different perspective. Trevor Henderson, you know, we've got like Vita Carnis. Now we've got this guy making something equally as terrifying in... Uh, a unique way. I love this type of stuff, man. I can't wait to see the future. This is so sick. But rather, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I said before, Doctor Nowhere is linked down below. Like, this dude is not nowhere. He's about to be everywhere. I'm telling you, this dude's gonna blow up even more than he has. Either way, though, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this take of, I guess, an analog horror story and just creepy videos all combined together. This was a really good viewing experience. If you did, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I'm any part of you. When the doctors eventually find you, they will not see me, but you will, and I'll see you too.